Zanzibar, in this area off the coast of Yemen. This is where Houthis backed by Iran have been launching attacks on ships. The first few are mostly here in the Red Sea. Many are near a pinch point, the Bab el Mandab Strait. Here's an example when Houthis seized a part Israeli owned cargo ship, the Galaxy Leader, and released this footage. After the initial attacks, the US and UK launched airstrikes on the Houthis on the 11th of January. There were a second set on the 22nd. And over the weekend, there were more. This verified video shows airstrikes in the city of Sana on Friday night. The UK's Defence Secretary said these strikes would further degrade the abilities of the Houthis. On Sunday, the US said they targeted missiles being prepared to launch against ships in the Red Sea. Data, though, shows that Houthi attacks have continued in recent weeks, certainly after the initial US-UK strikes. They started to move south into the Gulf of Aden. One example, the Marlin Luanda, a tanker with links to the UK. It was set on fire after being hit by a missile. In the three weeks before the first US and UK strikes, there were six attacks on ships. In the three weeks since the US and UK action began, there were nine. No Houthi strikes on ships have been confirmed since last Thursday, but it's too early to be sure if things are changing. And here's the impact. There's a lot less traffic going through the Red Sea now. The volume's fallen 30% since mid-January. If you look at the red here, vessels are now sailing around Africa, and that takes a lot longer. It also costs more. This shows the increased cost for transporting freight. It shot up, and those growing costs will have an impact here. They could mean higher costs for customers.